Hello everyone and welcome back to our cart series. In this episode we're looking at creating a boost pad, a small object on the ground that when you run over it, it will make your car go faster. Part of this allows you to also see how we can modify the speed of our cart very easily. So you can see this being used again when we do pickups later on. So let's jump in and get started. Okay, so let's talk about boosting. The first thing we need to do is make the speed of our car very variable. So when you go to the cart here, and when you go to accelerate cart and accelerate cart, we've got this add force at location. And what we're going to do here is when we're adding our, we're working out the value of the force, we've got this value, we're getting the forward vector multiplied by 2000, acceleration input and then mass. We're going to add another pin to this multiplier here and I convert that to a float. And I'm going to drag that out and promote that to a variable. And this will be the speed modifier. There we go. And it's important to note that you, when you compile this, you do want to make sure the speed of it by default is set to one. Okay, so that's the normal speed that your character's car is going to go at, sorry. And if you haven't already done so, one thing I'd recommend you do as well is also the center of mass to be negative 50 rather than a positive number. This will change the position of the center of mass and make the car dip back down to the ground a lot quicker rather than floating off into the ether. So hit compile and save this. Now, to actually see this working, I'm going to temporarily change the, uh, the speed modifier here from 1 to 3. So we should go now 3 times as fast. So here we go. There we go. We've got a lot faster. <laughs> I can do jumps and all sorts of things, but uh, a lot faster carts going around the track, okay? Which is a bit ridiculous, but there we go. Uh, so the speed modifier works. So I'm going to change it back down to 1. Now that we've got the speed modifier, we now need to make the boost pads. So if I go back to my draw, I'm going to create a new blueprint class actor, and we're going to call this one BP Boost Pads. And the boost pad is going to be simply a box collision that triggers it. So let's do a box collision in. And we'll set a default size of this to be 100 by 100 by 100. Okay, something like this. Actually, I'll change the Z a little bit to make sure that we're on the ground when we do that. 50, there we go. So, being on the ground is important. We want it to act like the pads on the floor, and when you touch the pads, it's going to launch you forwards at a high speed. So, when we do the overlap for this, we're going to check to see whether or not the cart is on the ground, which we've already got a function for. We made it in our cart. So, let's do the overlap event. So, let's go to Event Graph, and on Actor Begin Overlap, we're going to take the other actor and cast to our cart. And from there, we can check whether or not it's on the ground. It is on ground. And if that's the case, we'll put it into a branch. And on true, we're going to change the modifier. So rather than just change it straight out right, I'm going to set a timer on the cart as well. So what I'm going to do is go to the cart actor. And on the cart actor, we're going to have a ver uh, function, sorry, called boost cart. And boost cart is going to temporarily change the speed. So I'm going to drag out the speed modifier, and we're going to drag that out onto the, the uh, parameter list to make it a parameter. So I'll change the speed modifier, and then I'm going to create a timer by function name. And the function name is going to be reset speed, reset speed. And the value for this is how long it's going to boost it for. So again, I'm going to drag that into boost cart, how long the time is going to be there. Hit compile, save that. So I just need to make this function reset speed. And it's pretty simple. What we will do is go to functions, add a new one, call it reset speed. And all it's going to do is change the speed modifier back down to one. Number one means it can be standard speed. Pile, save. Let's go back to our boost pad. And on true, we're going to drag out from the BP cart and do boost cart. And the boost we can do here is going to be a speed boost of two. And we do it for five seconds. Pile, save that. So to test this out, I actually need to know where the boost pad is. So what I'm going to do temporarily is make the box here 
visible. So I'm going to go down to hidden in the game and turn that off. <laughs> Let's now drag that into our scene. And I'm going to just put it on this corner here. Like so. <laughs> Hopefully I can hit that and speed the car up. There you go. Got speed. Perfect. So we can it temporarily boost the cart. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do a little graphic on the ground to indicate that it is a boost pad. So we'll do a very simple graphic. I'm going to create a material with an arrow moving. So I've got a texture I'm gonna use for this. I'm just gonna bring that in. And it's this up arrow texture I've got here. And we're gonna make this like panning. So I'm going to create a material out of that. So we're going to create material. <laughs> open it up. And for the UVs to pan this, I need to first of all change this to be uh I'll leave it, no, we'll leave it we'll leave it opaque, but I'll need to make it have the U for the texture coordinate. So hold down U left click and it'll create the texture coordinate. And we're going to plug that into a panner node. And the panner allows you to move textures over time. So I'll plug that in there. And I'll change the Y value here to just 0.25 for now. So that's moving, but we can't tell because it's white against white, which is not great. So what I'm going to use is the alpha channel of my texture because it's a it has an alpha channel. Okay, this bit in the middle. I'm going to use that to lurk between two different colors. So we're going to do lurk. And that's going to be the alpha. Enter there. And when the alpha here is uh, A, sorry, uh, is B, sorry, we want that to be the RGB of our texture sample. If it's A, we want it to be the color that we want it to be. So, for example, I'm going to make it red. And it, and it, and it, okay. If I put it on there, we get this sort of speed boost effect. <laughs> and, it, and we can speed it up by changing the Y value here. So if I change it to like one, for example, we get that effect. And it, okay. and it, and it apply, save that. <laughs> now I'm going to go back to my boost pad, go to the viewport, and I'm going to add a plane to it. So I'm going to add a static mesh. Well, here you go, plain, already one there for you. Uh, and I'm going to give it that material I just made. So, there, there, like that. Now, importantly, I want to make sure this goes in the X coordinate. So, we're going to go turn it around like that. And also, I'm going to change the scaling of this to fit the size of the box that we've got. And, it, and it, <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to bring that down to the ground of the box. Now, when I bring it down, it's going to be negative 50. I'm just going to raise it up by one. And it, so if I put it on the ground, it's not going to clip through the floor. Okay, it's going to map to it. Now, you may also want to make this a decal instead, so it can map to like more uh, curvature on the ground, but for the most part, this should be fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also we need to make the plane here have no collision. So let's go down say no collision mm -hmm. and it, okay there's our boost pad and we can put a couple of no spots there and it's going to boost our cart mm -hmm. and it and it and it and it and it and it okay and it mm -hmm. there you go one boost pad so there you go, we can now got a boost pad in the game. So what I'm going to do in the next episode is make a start on the AI characters driving their carts around the environment. You can watch that next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find all my videos early from just $1 a month. A massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support in the channel. Thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.